guest. Um, and we're live. It is the Martin Fowler Come, and we have Lara and Pat and Michael and myself, Sam, and various things going on. Um, I've been distracted this morning by signing up for Code Mentor and Hack Hams. Uh, again, following on from this discussion that we we're having in random with people saying, what about people doing individual mentoring of people and AirPair, which does seem to have sort of gone defunct. And um, But uh, yeah, so then that wouldn't have been such a big distraction. But then Code Mentor had like a built-in interview process uh, sort of assessing my Ruby skills uh, as I was signing up to be a mentor. Um, and uh, I had to do a code carter and answer questions about Ruby and so on, which didn't take too long. But it was just <laughs> distracting. But interesting to see there, I mean, hack hands, blah, you know, just, yeah, uh, how long have you been programming? Great, great, we'll have you. Initially giving me an impression of the, um, you know, the potential quality uh, disparity between mentors available uh, on Code Mentor and Hack Hands. Um, yes, so, and I'm trying to compose, but so Natalia has reached out to me about, you know, this this idea, and I don't know, I'm trying, I, I wrote a blog on it this morning, I'm trying to form a position about doing more sorts of mentoring and stuff we were talking about yesterday. Um, other things are going on. I created a subreddit um, because Arrest said that's a good idea. Um, and I'm trying to do all the things that Lara's telling me to do to help us enable all of our market, marketing wizardry. Um, I don't understand how this works, but it's all very clever. Um, what is going on? Ugh, yesterday, was I actually? Yeah, I, I, made, I made progress. I got some tests in place for this. Oh, gosh, what is it? Yeah, starting with tests on, on testing the, the tracking system, which is the pull request I'm working on on website one. So I'd like to make more progress on that, but I'm being distracted by other tech tests for the, this future learn group. Um, yes, uh, and there's uh, little, lots of little bug reports and things to sort out, but that's kind of all going reasonably well, no blockers apart from the lack of time. But be in the now, that's the thing. I guess we were talking about the blocker being the lack of time, but there's time is an, is an illusion, according to Eckhart Tolle, and uh, we just need to sort of exist in the ever-present moment, and then time won't be a worry anymore. Or, or something to that effect. Anyway, so I think Michael was in first. Uh, Michael, any updates from you? No. Just preparing to die in the storm. OK. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> well, it, 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 remember, remember, everything apart from this present moment is an illusion. So um, hopefully you can take comfort in that. Uh, I think Lara was in next. Lara, how are things going with you? Yeah, good, thanks. So last night, um... After the scrum, uh, Natish and yourself helped me fix the bootstrap issue with my blocks moving uh, down. Um, I s pushed it up, and uh, Patrick, so you, when you've got time, you can review everything's passing, except for two issues on Hound, which are just line, length of line. Um, then this morning, we've been working on Agile Ventures, post, setting up posting the posts for the social media. I've been chatting to Sam as we've hit a few blockers with uh, getting access to some accounts. Um, there's just one more blocker in terms of Google+, Plus, which I have shared with you, Sam. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I am just busy with client deliveries. I won't be around for the mobbing session. As mentioned, I will be at my nephew's birthday this evening. It's likely to be a lot more fun, but uh, you know, so we'll, we'll be we'll be thinking of you as we as we mob and think. Oh, it's not fun oh thank you, thank you, yeah. kind of you. <laughs> and that's it for me. Cool, cool. Thanks, Lara. Uh, going on to Pat. Um, yeah. So. Post Scrum discussion, I wanted to talk about um, Google Ads and the front page, the landing page. We, we need to have that discussion. We so do, anyway. we do. Um, and just one quick question for Laura. So I think your PR is ready to go, Laura? It passed yeah. everything other than the helm thing? <laughs> okay. pa everything's passed. It's tested in all browsers. Well, all browsers that I can test in. Um, if you just test in Safari, because on my Linux, I can't test on Safari and I can't test Outlook. But I've tested Firefox and Chrome. So it's working perfectly. OK, great. What took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> you can give me a virtual slap if you need to. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. So for myself on SHF, I reviewed a bunch of stories, delivered a story. Uh, for review by the team. Um, I commented on Susanna's design for the company search page, which I think is shaping up nicely, at least forming initially 
some neat concepts. I think she's borrowing from her slow food app that she did for Craft Academy. And I also pointed out that uh, Local Sport has the same metaphor where you have a, a map right in the front when you go in, which is great. And I think we can maybe steal ideas from that as well. Uh, maybe even code. On uh, MetPlus, I did a pair of programming with Paul yesterday. He's been having um, an issue with one of his stories. It's taken a while, but I think we're finally there. One of the th issues we've been dealing with, Laura, is um, changing the footer and what should be in the footer. So I think we've fixed on that. Okay. And I told them that once we done, once he's delivered a story, maybe you and I and anybody else can circle back and finalize what goes in the footer because it's been All such right. a moving target, probably because of my f changes. Um, I merged uh, PR from Hinesh. Um, I'm going to review Laura's story today, this morning, and I noticed the test coverage now has dropped to 92%. So I've got some stories to fix that, and I'm encouraging people to take stories and help with that. On the WikiEd, uh, I finally started a story. I haven't touched anything on that for a couple weeks now, so starting a story there. So that's it for me. No blockers. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Pat. Good stuff. All right. Well, that's our scrum then um yeah so the thing we yeah that we had been discussing previously um well unless uh, any other sort of scrum related business that uh, anyone wants to bring up what time does the mob again the mob is going to be in four hours and 20 minutes from now <laughs> okay so i've uh, got a sorry yeah but i think 4 p.m utc 11 a.m uh eastern i have a question related to what's happening on the marketing side sure sure go ahead Oop. The Google ads that you guys are placing with our yes. with our free account business, yes, um, are they shown to anybody who uses Google, regardless of location in the world? Or are they limited to specific geolocations? At, at the moment, it's global, and that's one of the it's things global. that we could be doing. Is we could be, I mean, like so, yeah, we could be restricting it to certain locations if we felt that. I mean, what would be good to do would be maybe to look at the click through and sign up rates and so on by location. And then you, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's, you know, yeah, I wonder, I don't know if they can actually sh oh. sh show us that at the, at the moment. I kind of said it for all areas. Go on, Laura. Well, I just, cause I'm busy doing my digital marketing diploma. So last night's course, they shared this lovely little tool from Google trains. So mm. you can type in anything and, um, I'll quickly share my can I share my screen quickly? Go ahead, please. And it's it's quite cool. So you can see what's trending. So I did I did um agile soft uh software development as a topic. Uh -huh. And you can actually see how, I mean how the trend right. has started right. to rise over the years. Right. You can see so the top countries uh, that are looking. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, if you want to specifically just start <coughs> targeting certain <coughs> countries, uh -huh. we can. Um, I still think you should leave it as a global campaign. Yes. Yeah. You know, and just like we said, <coughs> we, we sort out the keywords. So, yeah. one keyword should be agile software development, should yeah. be one keyword. Um, yeah. yeah. But I thought it was a lovely tool. Yeah, that's lovely. That's lovely. That's great. Yeah. Can I ask a question? So, do we have a quota of ads that can be placed in any particular month? So we have we have a budget cap basically, which is of ten thousand dollars. So Google is like they charge it. So you can sort of see here we've got these two campaigns now. So we've got one targeted at oh, it's bigger coders trying to level. Oh, I made the wrong, <laughs> wrong screen. Um, we've got one targeted at coders trying to level up. Um, and we can maybe see that's the case of the keywords. We can see the ads there. If I click on that, uh, yes, I understand. This is what the ad looks like for at the moment for the leveling up coders, uh, leveling up coders who are helping charities, um, adventures United Group coders with charity open source. So mm -hmm. that's what that currently looks like. Mm -hmm. um, none of us have actually actually seen it. I think there's a limit like per day. We've got like a limited budget per day of like three hundred and sixty dollars. Or something, um, we can see here, and I can give you access to all of this, Pat, if you're interested. Um, we can see here how the this is coming through. I've got this ordered by no, the number of click-throughs. So there's been like 35, like coming up to 40,000 searches involving the word code took place 
um, in which we were uh, actually shown, mm -hmm. you know, appeared mm -hmm. somewhere in that list and uh, coming up to 2000 folks uh, click through. And uh, we can then see if we go on to, I can't see the conversions there. You need to put the tracking code from Yeah, uh, what I've got, we can see the conversions on, I think it was code where we can see, at the moment we see analytics, like, um, so I need to finish putting that tracking code in. But we can see, for example, there, that was from before, you know, there's, uh, you know, this is the number of people who are actually looking at the sign-up page rather than actually signing up. But we're working towards having the data so we will know yeah. how many people actually signed up as a consequence. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then we've got all of these, and and then, so the, the, this, I'm starting to think that this two dollar cap, I, I can't. I mean, I've had another go. I I can't find anywhere to change it. I can make it go down. Um, mm. I'm starting to wonder if that's part of our nonprofit thing, or if well, anyway, anyway. Um, but you can see how uh, for all the different, we kind of like added in all the different suggested keywords, and some of them like we'd like to be associated with open source, and it would seem like well, I'd happily pay, you know, like remove some value from somewhere else in order to get us shown when people search for open, open source. Um, oh, I guess I guess we are getting some clicks on open source and some impressions. It's just apparently we're not appearing on the first page. OK. Yeah, so at least we but do I'll, look at, I'll take a look at that on Sunday. When yeah, we, yeah, um, thanks. Uh, go through everything. And yeah. So we've added in, you know, and other people made suggestions we've added in. If you've got any suggestions for keywords, happy to add them. Go on, Pat. I was just going to say, um, if we analyze this data and we find that we're getting a bunch, we have a limited quota per day, but if we're getting a bunch of clicks in regions of the world where we really don't have people, the time ability to really be effective? Yeah, exactly. Maybe we want to limit it so we use our clicks where we're most effective and we have people um, on maybe the ground or yep. available in that time zone. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's uh, you know it, it it could go. We should certainly get the data out and and look at the analysis. I mean, of course, the interesting thing is that actually maybe that's where we want people to be signing up because those people will become mentors in those areas and then we'll actually be better, better able to serve those communities. But yeah, it's it's um, there's the paradox. Yeah, yeah I know. So diff diff difficult to know. Um, and then of mm -hmm. course there's this thing about people can be in a certain time zone, but they may have different very different habits about when they're you know of course anyway anyway. But so. I think what I would love to do is en enable everybody to have access to the data so that we can all, um, you know, get, uh, what's the word, a access to it and, and sort of, you know, try, try out ex experiments, you know, that, that will be the, because we've got this going on and, and rotating. So just send me uh, Google emails and I can add, give people access to, to this as well, uh, just to show. But then we also now got this, um, we've got this new, a new campaign, uh, which is for charities looking for a, uh, IT solutions. Oh, oh great. Um, great. Which has gone live, and I can see that there's a few. Um, uh, so let me see the ad. Where's the ad we've got? Yeah, so this is. So this, this one here, as I was setting up, it said it wouldn't seem to let me kind of go and let, until I'd created two of them. So uh, <laughs> That's it, it was, it was, I was kind of like, it says, like, there's was, there was some statistics. 85%, we, we know that there's more clicks if you have two kind of ads. And I was like, okay, fair enough. But there was no, like, sa I couldn't save. The campaign until I created the second one. So I created the second one anyway. Um, but so we've got charity, charities, software, mobile solutions, embedded and affordable software, mobile web solutions for charities by charity. Um, and then and then there's this other one. This was the one that I was kind of like, I was like, I've got to make something. I, I don't know. I don't know. Like okay, something else. Uh, agile project management for charities by charity. Increase your project effectiveness with modern agile management techniques. Blah, blah. So th those are now being inserted apparently in this proportion, and we can see that like yeah, we've had um, forty clicks. And eleven clicks. Although this is, they've been going for like a day, so mm. that start. Some people are starting to arrive at this non-profit site. So, oh, that's great. And uh, good there progress. Are the, yeah, the, the, and so the, the, um, go on. Nobody's beating down your door with emails. I haven't had anybody like wrestle me to the floor and say, "Please build us a website." Uh, yet, I mean, the the interesting thing will be to for this one also <laughs> set up conversions and see if we can. Kind of, I mean, I, I just added. For the first time, because we didn't have it before, I just added. Uh, goodness me! Anyone sign up for the newsletter? Uh, I didn't notice them doing so, but that's what we'll want to get tracking on. Um, what did I just do? I also let me look in here. Uh, if I go here, yeah, I just set up Google Analytics tracking for the um, about but about the same time as I put the ad up for the this is the nonprofit site there, so that's we're just starting to get some data. This is the first ever day I, I hadn't enabled it before, so that's nice to see that data coming through. And anyway, as as time goes on, we'll get more data about those things. Um, yeah. yeah.
definitely, definitely I'm going to push you on putting the AdWords conversion tracking code onto all the thank you pages. Yes. Because that's going to be... Yeah, that, 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 that's, the, um, that's the the current. I mean, if, if you're interested in, in uh, seeing that in progress, uh, basically we have the, this... Th there's a mechanism here that what we will do is dynamically inject the code, like after someone has successfully signed up, we, we set this flash thing and then we dynamically inject the code in there. Okay, great. So that's, great. Uh, yeah, need, need, that, that's what I'm trying to get finished today. We will see. Um, yeah, what was it? That, uh, Pat was just sending me his email to get uh, access to all these things. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, as Michael rightly points out, this is, you know, a valuable resource that we shouldn't just be throwing away. Um, I mean, but it's also, it creates, it takes a resource of time and effort to go in there and, you know, uh, adjust it and get, you know, learning it and so on. I mean, the interesting thing in the long run will be to see, uh, can we actually start making monetary conversions from any of this? I mean, if at some point we, we, we did do, then it would actually start making sense to be sort of paying to move things up. But uh, I'm skeptical of how far we will get with that. It's all, it's all good fun in the first instance. You've learned a lot, an incredible amount anyway, in short time. So all, everybody on the team has. That's great. It's, it's good fun, isn't it? I mean, the, what's most most exciting is that, you know, particularly because the, the MOOC has been delayed in starting, and, and usually the MOOC kicking off would be the main source of people coming into our, our site. Um, you know, look at this. The, the, the traffic difference is, is, just, uh, is just huge. And I think, mm -hmm. yeah, there's... Uh, you just need to get your bounce rate down the... Well, indeed. I mean, well, which come, brings us nicely. Thank you, Lara. Excellent segue to the what Pat we wanted to talk about, which is that you we we all been posting some different ideas about changes to the front page of the site. Um, so, and we say front page of the site, we mean, of course, uh, the front page of here. Um, so we've now got our we've got a slightly higher call to action, um, and yeah, so. <laughs> Matt made some suggestions. Um, did did you want? Did you want to? Um, I'm just searching for your. Oh, here we go. Your document here, Patrick. Did you want to sort of just talk us through it, or say anything else about it? I'm just there you go. Um, that's not w which document. I don't uh, see it. Uh, okay, let me make it bigger. Yeah, I got it. No, I was the wrong window. Uh, let's see. Can you kind of, uh, the, the left-hand um, toolbox area is kind of occluding, at least on my side. Maybe if I get off, yeah, there we go. So anyway, um, <clears throat> so there's two concepts that I'm talking about here. One is first, I mean, we've talked about these ideas before. Mm. But the concept number one is a, visit, a visitor needs to be able to quickly assess what, what we're all about. Mm -hmm. um, and given that what we're all about thing, mm -hmm. why would membership be a value? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. We're not doing a, we're not conveying that right now. So mm -hmm. that's the concept. Yep. And it's gotta be quick. So yes. the, the message inside is suggested wording here, and I think it's too wordy, uh -huh. but you can see the messaging here. Gain yep. skills, yada, yada. Right, right. Yep, yep. You have to be some visible on GitHub. You, you had something, I think, you had a one-liner, I think, mm. in your proposed approach. I forget what it was, but I think it may be better. I had I had this one here, was this one, yeah, the oh, level up save the world. world. Or, or also maybe too wordy, but um, but there was, we were talking about we were looking at the Stripe page and they'd gone with um, you know, a single line and then sort of a sub thing. And, yeah, uh, I like that better. And then the other concept that I had was uh, as we had talked before, the idea that okay, so that sounds great, but how do I get involved? Whatever. Yeah, right. So the call to action is you know just in a very safe way, um, join a discussion. Not join a discussion, listen in on a discussion. Yeah, listen in, sure. Keywords. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the suggested me messaging here looks like that. Want to learn more, listen in. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And then we have in two and a half minutes or two, two and a half hours, whatever. Yeah. And that's it. And they click on the link and they say, mm -hmm. yeah, I can do that. I'll listen in. Sounds safe. Yep, so yep. I have to put myself out there. Absolutely. So that's pretty much it. So yeah. those are the two key cool. concepts, and uh, if we can if we can nail those two concepts, I think we'll have a better conversion rate of people 
visiting and saying, yeah, let me listen and see what's happening. And then the other key thing is the project managers or the people who are hosting scrums mm. need to be aware that we're trying to gain these people into the community. Mm -hmm. And when they show up, gently entice them to discuss what they're doing, what they're looking right. to learn, what sure. they're interested in, and then help them totally find the right project. Kind of like we did with Nicholas the other day. Mm -hmm. um, I started pro pro I guess uh, poking at him if you will or probing what he wanted to do and then you took it on Sam afterwards mm -hmm. I'm not sure it's gonna make him show up but anyway yeah I've had more interaction with him in local support and he's fully set up with the local support project so um okay great um, perfect we'll see uh, uh, you know uh, who knows how far it will it will go yeah yeah I, I, you got you had you had me at um you know um like concept uh, M Michael, Lara, any, any thoughts on, on this? Any, any uh, anything sparking anything in your brain? Yeah, I think it couldn't be any worse than what we have now. <laughs> that's uh, that's called damning with faint praise. <laughs> no, I think it's great. Yeah, I think it's great for lead generation. I think it's great. Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, yeah, I think the key thing for me, and I'm sorry, Sam, to interrupt, but no, the key thing for me is that people show up and they think, "Oh, this is just another thing. I'll sign up and I'll take a you know an online course." But w I want to emphasize that these are real projects, right? Real clients, mm -hmm. uh, you know, real, real experience. Yeah, you know, it's totally different than what you might get elsewhere. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, I think that's that's an important key differentiator and getting that across. Um, I guess I will say in the original uh, website's d defense that, that I think it could be worse. It could be much worse. <laughs> <laughs> but, but there's, but there's, there's, there's certainly lots of room for improvement. And I, I think I particularly like the point that you made, Pat, last time about how this kind of the Kembex Scrum and Pair this is not really kind of decipherable to people who don't know yeah. us already. And even yeah. for people who know us already may be quite confused. So, uh, I mean, the, the, in the interesting thing is like in terms of, like making some changes along these lines, or of course we also had, uh, you know, there was like my, my, my version and, and um, Matt uh, had done his different thing. There's, there's basically what we need to move towards or, or you know, what, what's, the, um, what's the path to achieving, you know, the, the, the change and seeing if it has the, um, the impact that we want. Um, when I look at, uh, what's it now? When I look at um, this, it feels to me that the um, the sort of the simplest change that we could make that on a journey towards this would be like changing it out so that, for example, for people who are not logged in, that they rather than seeing this, they would see a different one that was kind of like listen into this project meeting or, or you know next mm -hmm. ambassador meeting or what have you, yep. and that that would kind of be a way of like relatively quickly making a simple change that would move us in the direction. Not to say we shouldn't keep on moving all the things, but I mean, I guess we're almost talking about, you know, a kind of a complete redesign of this this section, which we could also do, but I kind of, if we try and do the whole thing, that makes me feel like it might take too long, you know, before, before we can, you know, start getting any input. Does that make any sense? Yeah, it does, but the problem is, I mean, the, the bottom there, yeah, is intimidating. It has to be accessible and it has to be safe, listen in, et cetera. The, the top thing, upgrade to premium for additional support. So I just arrived on a site. I don't think any, oh. anything about additional yeah, but, but you'll only, support. You'll only see that if you're logged in. If you are not logged in, okay. when you first arrive, like if somebody just clicked on one of our ads and they would arri arrive, they would see, this is what they would currently see. Yeah, so the problem is sign up and I start coming. Sounds good. So I sign up and then I, what happens? Well, absolutely. I'm there, there, sent to a morass no, of... of to, to, totally, totally. There, there's, the, there's the rest of the yep. funnel. I, I, I agree. I, I'm, I'm not sort of saying we shouldn't make changes. I'm just thinking in terms of, uh, you know, maybe I'm kind of overthinking it. Like maybe what we should do is come up with a design for, uh, you know, a redesign for this whole section and then get that approved by everybody and then move it forward what i'm thinking is is kind of can we like uh do one part of the change and get that out quickly and assess that rather than waiting for the whole whole thing i'm not, I'm not saying we shouldn't also kind of completely redesign this and potentially 
yeah. change this and and move away from these circles and go more to this you know the statement or what have you but uh kind of an uh, agile approach yeah incremental yeah, yeah, change yeah I mean, don't, don't if, 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 for example, Pat or, or Michael Lara, if, if, you, if you're like inspired by this and you're like, yes, website one, uh, I want to put in a pull request that just ch changes this and makes it into your vision of what it is. Don't let me, I'm, I will be very, very, very supportive of, of doing that. Um, for me, I, I, I probably, if it's just left to just me working on it, then after I've done some tracking and some other bits and pieces, I might start with trying to change how we present this part to the um, you know the, the person when they're not logged in, I think that's a reasonable approach. Let's just start with one thing. See, yeah, see if it helps. And I, I guess one of the things I'm picking up, Pat, from what you're saying there is, and we haven't mentioned you haven't used the ambassador term, is just that if for the non-logged in, like we could still be having this showing Kemex or whatever, but the the call to action here, as it were, could be modified for the non-logged in user so that it said listen in rather than just join join now would absolutely that's yeah that's exactly the point right right yeah so, so the, the idea is to make this like a less inti less intimidating and a more lightweight way of getting information but we don't have to kind of like work out a, a day for there to be ambassador events and and kind of get someone to agree to do those and set up that separate schedule in the we could still do that in the long term, but in the in the short term, it seems like a short term quick change we could make is just changing the wording of this for the non logged in user. That, that, that's what I'm going to. Uh, the ambassador thing is great, but it requires structure and people and all of that, which we may not have right now. Right. I think, like I said, if we if we usher people into listening mm -hmm. in a project coordination meeting or whatever we call it, yes, the people who run those meetings should be coached on look for newbies showing up. Yeah. And then try to, you know, afterwards try to, you know, gently get an idea of what they want to do, how you can help them get involved. Yeah, yeah, yep. Good show. Also, seeing the actor, this Corey's changed now, that so that because we're still we're still live, the Martin Fowler Scrum actually continues to be there, like indicating that it's live. Whereas previously, after fifteen minutes, that would have disappeared from this page. Oh, so, that's good. That's um, good. That's, that's nice. Nice to have that. All right, good. Well, we we we've, we've done our Scrum and then some. Um, I guess that's it. For the moment, anything else that we need to coordinate? Yep. Not for me. All right, good stuff. Uh, well, I will see some of you at the um, at the mob later on, and uh, I'll be around on Slack. Bye. Okay. Bye for now. Good afternoon. Yeah. Bye now. <laughs>